guys. So now we're gonna talk about the serve. So um, like you guys saw the video, like, you know, last week, um, there are different types of serves. I am going to show you probably two of them, the two main ones and the ones that I would, you know, actually teach in class. But we're gonna look at the underhand serve and the overhead serve. So the, uh, the overhead one is the one that's done most. It's, um, in my opinion, the easier one than the underhand. But um, there are some people who like that underhand. So let's look at the underhand first. So with our, you guys see I'm standing behind this red line right here. That's our you know, volleyball line. You have to be behind this line to serve that ball. If you, your toe hits that line or your foot goes over it before you serve the ball, that is a fault. And you know, we talked about those, I think last Monday or Tuesday. So um, you, know, you gotta keep that in mind whenever you're making that serve. You gotta be behind this line. So. For our underhand, you're gonna hold the ball kind of in your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, you would hold it in your left hand. And if you're left-handed, you would hold it in your right hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna hold it in my left. What I'm gonna do is kind of square up my hips and my shoulders to my target. So obviously that's gonna be straight across from me over the net. And um, whenever I get ready to serve, I'm gonna kind of get in that Ready position, like we've talked about. We got our knees bent just a little bit, not so deep, but just a little bit. And then, you know, you can bounce the ball if you want. You can, you know, do whatever to kind of, whatever your routine might be. But then once you get ready to serve, you're gonna step. So with our step, I'm right-handed again. Remember, you wanna step with opposition. That means that if I'm right-handed, I'm gonna step with my left leg, okay? So this is what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna pretend like I'm getting ready to serve. I'm gonna step with opposition and then I'll hit that ball. So again, I'm right-handed, so that means I'm stepping with my left leg. If I'm left-handed, I'm gonna step with my right leg. <laughs> All right, so again, that's what that step is gonna look like for the underhand serve. So let me show you guys what that skill would look like. So I'm gonna get in my ready position, bend my knees a little bit, now I'm gonna step with opposition, swing my arm back, and then kind of hit that ball. I'm gonna hit it with my wrist. So you guys see, I didn't hit it with my fist, I didn't hit it with my hand, but I hit it with my wrist. Let me show you again. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time from this front angle, and then I'll show you from the side angle. I want you to pay attention to where the ball is hitting on my arm. It's not on my fist or way up here, it's right here on my wrist. So again, I'm gonna get in that ready position, and then I'm ready to go, so I'm gonna step, swing. That was a bad one. You guys saw that one hit about right here. Let me give you one more example, what a good serve should look like. All right, so again, watch, and we wanna hit right here. We wanna go straight out in front of us. Ready position, step, swing, and hit. And boom, that one's a little better. That one went in bounds. All right, so let me give you guys a side angle of that serve. Okay, so this is the side angle of that underhand serve. Again, you guys see I'm standing behind this red line because I don't want to step over it before I serve because that is called a fault. So it's going to be the same motion. I'm going to step, swing, and hit. And that one was in bounds. Um, just to show you guys what this would look like in case you don't have a volleyball at home, it'd be, you know, you can do that same motion. Act like you're holding the ball in your non-dominant hand. For me, that's my left. Then whenever I get ready, I'm gonna step with opposition, swing, and hit that ball. You know, you can practice that motion just like that. One more time, boom. All right, so that's the underhand serve. Now we're gonna look at the, in my opinion, easier one, and the one that most people use, the overhand. All right, guys, so now we're gonna look at that overhand serve. So this is the one that's most commonly used. There's different variations of it, like the jump serve, or the um, float serve, but they all come from that same overhead motion. So, um, again guys, this might be called the overhand, like hand or overhead, but um, you know, that really doesn't matter, it's the same thing. So to give you guys kind of what this skill would look like as we're getting ready to serve it, for this time, instead of squaring our hips in front of us and our shoulders in front of us, we're gonna turn to the side a little bit. So um, kind of like with our throw in football, we're gonna to be to the side to start off. Again, we're gonna hold that ball. We're gonna hold it in our opposite hand, so our non-dominant hand for me, that's my left. And um, for this, we gotta do a toss. So for this toss, 
we gotta practice tossing it in the air with one hand. So just like that, we wanna get it over our head. We don't wanna toss it all the way up into the rafters, but we wanna toss it up enough so it's over our head, and then we can bring our arm down and around, and then make contact with the ball. So that's what that's gonna look like. I'm not doing the full serve now, because I just want you guys to get an idea of where that toss should be. I toss it up, and then boom, I can make contact with it. One more time, that was a bad one. Um, this toss, it can, you have to practice a little bit because it can go behind you, or it can kind of go to the side, or maybe not too, not far up enough. Um, in volleyball, if you mess up the toss, that's fine, as long as you catch it and re-toss it. You can't mess up the toss and hit it and get a reserve because that would be a fault. But um, as long as you don't try to serve that ball and you catch it and re-toss it, that is okay. Um, so again, we're gonna kind of go to the side. Again, we're gonna bend our knees a little bit, toss this ball up, and then we can make contact with it. So let's talk about our swing, our arm swing for the ball for the hand that's gonna hit the ball. Obviously, you guys see I got it kind of on the back of the ball right now. Once I toss it up, it's gonna leave the ball, and then only my non-dominant hand is holding the volleyball. So now, with this free hand, as I'm tossing this ball up, I'm gonna bring this hand down and around, and then bring it up, getting ready to make contact with that ball. So here's what it will look like. Now, that wasn't that great of a serve, but that is what that motion looks like. Let me give it to you again. So here it is one more time. I'm gonna to toss this ball up over my head, bring it down and around, and then make contact with it. So that is the front angle of the overhead serve. Now let me show you the side angle. So again, just to reiterate, I'm behind this red line. Again, you can't step over it until you hit the ball or else that is a fault. So my side to my target, I'm gonna to toss this ball up, down and around, rise up and hit it. I hope you guys see how I'm kind of rising up on my toes to hit that ball. Um, whenever I make contact with the ball, it's gonna be the palm of my hand. Some people like to do it with the fist, but um, you know, sometimes it'll hit the knuckles weird and then go every which way. For this, I just like to use the palm of my hand because it makes it go a little bit straighter. Let me show, you, show it to you one more time. Here it is one more time. Side to target, toss down and around, and then I rise up and make contact with that ball with my palm. So, to give you guys an idea of what this will look like without a volleyball, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be the same motion just without a ball. So you're gonna hold it and then toss it up, down and around, and make contact. Toss it up, down and around, make contact. So that is our serve, and then we also looked at our forearm pass and our set. Tomorrow, we're gonna look at the spike and the block. See you guys soon.